According to the UN, coastal residents contribute about $1.5 trillion to the global economy every year. And by 2030, that figure could be more than $3 trillion. No wonder, since coastal areas account for about 40% of the world's population. So, this American solution is perfect for these places. You're seeing a wing-in ground-effect vehicle. According to the idea, the novelty will make transportation in coastal areas faster, easier, and cheaper. For example, an ordinary airplane is not profitable for short distances, and it takes a long time to go by boat. That's where ground-effect vehicles come in handy. So far, the team has only a model to show the technology, but their plans are big. By 2025, their first vehicles will appear in the USA and then all over the world. Their specifications are expected to be as follows. Three modes of operating. Sailing, flight in ground effect vehicle mode, and normal flight. And the capacity is 12 people. The range is 184 miles and the speed is 180 miles per hour. Don't have billions to go to space? No problem. With Mars Green, anyone can experience the thrills of growing new life on the red planet. The authors of this unusual product entice customers. The main features are Vertical growing using trendy wall-mounted pots Easy care – just water the plants once a month Built-in lighting – even if there's not enough light, the plants will still grow Customers can choose what and when they want to grow. The soil can be used at any time of the year and for any plant. The product was invented in the US, and it's based on a special clay mixture with many pores. So this fun product turned out to be not only interesting, but also affordable. Prices start at $60. What does China have to offer? The country has already become the world's largest producer of batteries and engines for electric cars, and it also offers its own vision of compact urban electric cars. A vivid example is on your screen right now. Despite its modest length of 8.2 feet, this small vehicle produces about 50 miles per hour and travels up to 93 miles on a single charge. The main feature of the car is the way it's assembled. The parts are 3D printed. This makes the vehicle easy to repair, and customers can mix and match the colors of many elements, from the fenders to the interior panels. The car has passed the European homologation, and the Chinese have priced it at around $13,900. The standard package includes a panoramic roof, air conditioning, and touchscreen navigation. Plus, you can charge it wherever there's a socket. Sounds good, doesn't it? Compact wind turbines are rarely used, explain the manufacturers of this vertical axis wind turbine. They've already attracted more than $400,000 in investments, and their slogan is, we now have the power to change the world. So what is the competitive advantage? It turns out that there are several. First, the design of these wind turbines allows them to operate at wind speeds of about one mile per hour. Secondly, the turbine can operate in conditions where other options break down, as the blades adjust to the strength of the wind. However, not everyone is happy. Many users note that there are too many parts, which makes production quite expensive. What do you think? Standing with your hands and head raised is tiring. Some reality shows even use this position as challenges. However, in many professions, it's a harsh necessity. Fortunately, there is a product that simplifies the life of repair workers, mechanics, assembly line workers, and other professionals who are often forced to work in an uncomfortable position. And it comes from Germany. On your screen is a neck support. It weighs only 5.3 ounces, and you can put it on in just a couple of seconds. The model fits people from 5 feet 2 inches to 6 feet 2 inches tall, and there's a custom adjustment option too. The biomechanical design doesn't restrict movement. In addition, the solution is compatible with the same company's exoskeleton for the arms. 
And no batteries, charges, or anything else is needed, as both products are energy independent. This development from the US started after an incident. One of its authors was riding a scooter to work and almost got hit by a car. It was then that he thought of walking to work because it was safer and more convenient. As a result, a system for walking at the speed of a run appeared. The project made it to Kickstarter. Its goal was $90,000, but already more than $200,000 have been raised. The designers are sure that the product is functional even in heavy pedestrian traffic and safe, unlike rollerblades, skateboards, and bicycles. It's compatible with almost any footwear, runs on electricity, and requires only one and a half hours to be fully charged via USB. It has a top speed of about 7 miles per hour and a range of up to 6.5 miles on a single charge. And a special foot gesture locks the wheels and allows you, for example, to climb stairs or go inside a store. The price is about $1,000. Another novelty from the US with a simple motto, making delivery what it should be. The designers are sure that the robot will be especially useful when there's a shortage of personnel, and one of its features is working inside buildings. From restaurants to airports, the possibilities are endless. The version 2.0 was redesigned practically from scratch based on the performance data of the previous model. Key changes include a new design, so even a child can access the package, all-wheel drive and crab mode to improve maneuverability, the possibility to adjust it more precisely to the customer's needs, for example, installing insulated units for different temperatures, and operation in fully autonomous mode at any time of day or night. Many people are interested. In September this year, these robots appeared at Leonardo da Vinci Fiumicino International Airport, the largest airport in Italy, so the team clearly has big plans. Let's go to China a country where well-functioning logistics are incredibly important. After all, retail sales in 2021 reached about $6.9 trillion. So, to make life easier for logistics specialists, loaders, salespeople, and warehouse employees, a local company offers this dock leveler. The manufacturer is ready to build a version to order, and the configuration of the most popular levelers looks like this. 6.6 .6 to 8.2 feet in length, 5.9 to 6.6 .6 feet wide, and the capacity ranges from 13,228 to 33,069 pounds. The system is hydraulic, the engine is protected from overheating, and there are only three buttons on the control panel. It's simple, convenient, and most importantly, profitable. The work gets done faster and safer. Speaking of logistics and storage space, Germany knows a lot about useful developments in this area. Today's selection includes a German-made fire barrier. The idea is simple. If there's a fire outside and it's being extinguished, the U-shaped barrier is lowered, so water, foam and other liquids don't get inside. The solution is useful for logistics centers, ports, warehouses and other similar areas. It can be activated automatically or manually. And when the barrier is not needed, it takes up minimal space and doesn't interfere with loading and unloading. The design is patented, the seals are resistant to chemicals, and the dimensions can be adapted to the requirements of the customer. On your screen is a development by scientists at the University of California, San Diego. It doesn't look as cool as an electric ground effect vehicle or a delivery robot, but it will be just as useful in the long run. After all, this unique material glows when twisted, stretched and squeezed, which makes it perfect for various works in the dark. The basis of the material is single-cell algae, which glow in the dark, but only under a certain influence. A solution with these algae is injected into a flexible framework that can take any shape. The final material can be charged with light, and thanks to the clever, porous structure, there's enough oxygen inside to keep the algae from dying. The sensitivity is amazing, 
You can turn on the light by vibration, a light touch or even by airflow. A sad statistic by WHO experts. About 80% of diseases in the world are linked to poor water sanitation conditions. Things are especially bad in rural areas, as 90% of the inhabitants consume contaminated water. This machine is one of the first steps on the complex path of water purification. The combine will help in the fight against aquatic weeds. Thanks to the power pack system, the machine can run all day without fossil fuels, which is great for the environment. The model is easy to operate and ideal for heavily polluted shallow waters. The construction is built with Kevlar and fiberglass. The LED lighting system makes it easy to work as long as possible. It's also compact, 15 feet by 7.2 feet, and easily transportable in a trailer, which you can buy as part of the set. Golf is a game for the rich for a reason. The annual global spending on equipment has reached $10 billion. So, there are some very impressive innovations in this area as well, such as this simulator. Full-size, true-to-life golf simulation in a compact, easy-to-assemble format, writes the manufacturer. You'll have to spend a lot of money, as the most expensive set costs about $34,000. It includes an optimized game computer, a projection system, artificial turf, and a set of programs, including family mini-games, as well as bowling, darts, soccer, and other activities, if you wanted something different. Everything works simply. Just take your favorite stick and hit the ball as usual. And in addition to having fun, the FSX Pro system will allow you to evaluate the results and understand what you can improve on.